Integers are numbers without any decimal points, like 1, 2, 3, 0, negative 5, and so on. The size of an integer, though, depends on the platform. For 32-bit systems, it's from negative 2 billion to positive 2 billion, and for 64 bits, it's much more. And you can check that easily by using the predefined constants that we covered in the previous videos, and those are php underscore int max, min, and size. And for my platform, these are the maximum and minimum values. Integers can be specified in decimal or base 10, which is, for example, like this. This is base 10, or this is base 10. And then you could echo it out and it will just display five it can also be defined as a hexadecimal which is base 16 and hexadecimal numbers are prefixed by 0x so it would be 0x 2a and you could print that out which is the decimal value is 42. You could also define uh, integers as octal numbers, and octal numbers are prefixed by 0, so 0, 5 would evaluate to 5. 0, 55, for example, would evaluate to 45. You could also represent integers as binary numbers, which are prefixed by 0b, so 0b11 1, 1 would equal to 3, and 110 1, 1, would equal to 6. Now, what happens? when an integer overflow occurs so for example we have php int max this value and we echo it out and this is the value that we have but if we were to add one to this let's see what happens the value changes but the type of it is no longer integer and we can check that easily by using var dump so let's do var dump x and that is the type integer now if we're going to add one to this the type changes the float so when integer goes out of bounds, it will get changed into the float data type. And we'll talk about the float data type in the next video. Now let's talk about casting. You could cast values using parentheses int or parentheses integer. And this would both cast the value into an integer. Let's review how the other data types are cast into integers. Boolean true when cast to integer will get converted to one. Boolean false when cast to integer will get converted to zero. The floating number will lose the decimal points, so this will basically get rounded down to 5. So even though it's 0.98, it's not going to be rounded up, it will be rounded down. So essentially you're just losing this value here, so this will result in 5. When strings are being converted to integers, if the string is numeric, something like 5.9, this will get cast into 5 as well, because the 0.9 will get removed. If the string is just another numeric integer, for example, it will get get cast into an integer normally. If the string contains some kind of text with the number, when it's cast to integer, PHP will attempt to convert this and resolve it as an integer, which means that it will just return an 87 out of this. However, if the string cannot be resolved as integer, it will just be converted to zero. So for example, if we were to convert this to an integer, it will result in zero. And when converting nulls to integers, it will also be converted to zero. Now the way you could check if the variable is an integer is by using function called isInt or isInteger and that will return true or false uh, if the variable is integer or not. So if we give it x here, this will return true because we're casting it to an integer. But if we remove this and we run it again, it returns false because it's not an integer. Also, as of PHP 7.4, for readability purposes, you could use underscores within your integers. So for example, you could have something like 200,000, and now you could actually do something like this, which makes it more readable. So if we refresh, and let's remove the isInt check here, refresh, and we get 200,000. And this could be useful for long numbers, something like this. And it just adds uh, readability to the number without using commas or anything like that. The underscores are basically just uh, removed and ignored by the PHP. However, if you turn this into a string, this will not work. This will basically just treat this as a string and not as an integer. And then if you cast this to an int, this will just be casted as two because anything after that will just get removed. So keep that in mind. If you do use underscores, it just has to be integer representation and not a string. This is it for this video. On the next video, we're going to talk about floats and there are some very important points on how to work with floats and what are some of the things to look out for. So stay tuned and be sure to watch that video as well. Please give this video a thumbs up, share and subscribe and I will see you on the next one.